We reported earlier today that the weather conditions are expected to improve this week. So let's head out to Washington State real quickly and check in with John Carlson of KVI Radio. Hey, John, we're glad to have you along again this morning. We know you guys have been extremely busy with this story. John, in terms of getting a perspective on this, I guess uh, one of the standard increments, if you will, of measurements in the United States, people often talk about something being the size of a football field. John Carlson, put this in perspective for us, just what this huge mudslide, the dimensions of what's happened there in rural Washington State. Yes, thanks, J.D. Hi, John. Uh, to, put, to set the picture here, um, picture a football field with 12 feet of mud covering the entire field and both end zones. Multiply it by 275 football fields. That's how much earth fell. The equivalent of 275 football fields piled 12 feet high with not just mud, but mud, rocks, debris, people's homes, people's cars, etc. Uh, it, uh, it is just massive, almost biblical in its uh, destruction. And the good news, you mentioned that number uh, of 30 missing. We were told last week that there were 90 people missing, but the chilling addendum to that was that most of those people were assumed to be under the rubble. Well, they drastically reduced that number to 30, and more good news, they think that that number will continue to come down. So it's still a very grim um, a challenge to try and and find any survivors which I really have doubted for some time will be there um, they are finding parts of people and that of course makes everything very problematic and and uh, very difficult but I tell you you've got all these people who are volunteering and working really hard to make it happen and this really is America at its best when nature's at its worst and people just step forward to do what they can and help out their fellow neighbor. It just you know makes you have all that much more faith in your fellow man. John, as we continue the discussion here, and I know you're, you're physically and literally very close to the scene there in Washington yeah. State. In terms of, of media coverage, we, we, we spend so much time talking about the mystery of the Malaysian jetliner and it seems that CNN has made that a cornerstone of all its coverage over the last three weeks. Now I don't want to diminish that story but here we have a story you said it yourself almost biblical in magnitude where 21 Americans are confirmed dead where there are fears of more dead Americans. Why in terms of the media uh, evaluation of stories Hasn't the story from your home state of Washington gotten more attention? Because it's missing the so-called mystery angle about why it happened and who made it happen. Uh, you know, it lacks a villain. Uh, and I think those two things help drive news coverage. Uh, by the way, you've been hearing floating uh, numbers on the number of dead. You know, last week we were told 24, 25 bodies. Now it's 21. Here's what's happening there, J.D. Uh, a person is not listed as dead until their identity is confirmed by the coroner, a next of kin is notified by the chaplain, and the body is released to a funeral home or mortuary. Until that time, it's just a body and they don't count it as, as dead. So the number is 21, but there are more bodies, and so that number is going to climb. But as I said a moment ago, not nearly as high as that 90 figure of last week. Yeah, so the, the numbers, you know, we gotta uh, stay on top of those because they continue to change. But John, you know, we saw some video over the weekend of some of these uh, rescue operators, the recovery guys, the guys in the heavy equipment, uh, pausing there to have a memorial uh, for those bodies that have been found. You know, we also heard this report, J.D. talked about this earlier, the search dogs have to be rested yeah. because they could lose their sense of smell. Talk about the level of, of exhaustion uh, that these folks are dealing with right now and how they're able to push through it. 
Well, this is where the weather has been complicating because when the, the weather turns cold and the rain starts to fall, uh, then the mud uh, gets especially difficult to deal with. And that has been really tough on the rescue, what, the cadaver dogs, actually. And it, it has been rough on the responders, but you know what? They're, they're not letting up. Uh, you've got loggers out there. Uh, you've got firefighters, uh, you've got local volunteers, and, you know, as I was saying, uh, what makes a hero is an ordinary person who rises to the occasion when there's a crisis. Yeah, when, most people, a when most people run from trouble, these folks run to it, and so uh, thanks for bringing us that report. John Carlson of KVI Radio giving us an on-the-ground assessment of what's going on there. Uh, good to hear from him. And we appreciate John's comments. We welcome your comments via social media. Tweet us what you have to say at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. Email us, connect at NewsmaxTV.com or Facebook.com backslash Newsmax. Introducing the driver that 